Hello everyone and welcome back to our new tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your tick watch with Android. In today's video we will use two apps in the phone. First we have to choose our language that we speak. As you can see we have to read all of this. In case you don't want to read just scroll down and press I read it. Now we have to download Wear OS from Google and also Mobvoi for the tech watch. Firstly, we have to go to the Wear OS. As you can see, the Mi Watch is the last uh, smartwatch that we connected with this app. We have to agree and continue. As you can see, now it's searching for a new device where it found immediately the tech watch Pro. Now, as you can see, it says connecting to the tech watch Pro 4G. And we have the same number, press pair. I'm going to allow contacts and phone calls. We can do that later as well. Now it says connected, but actually it will take a, long, a longer time. Uh, here it took all of our detail and you have to choose an email uh, for the tick watch, pro uh, probably Gmail. We have to connect with Wi-Fi, allow location, and this uh, page will take you, as you can see, up to five minutes. After all that, you are all set. As you can see, now we are uh, connected and we can use the watch. We will see here a few things uh, so we can learn how to use it. Even though we don't need this, we'll teach you again. You have to swipe down, swipe up, left and right so you know you get to know all the pages that you have in your tech watch. This is very easy. Uh, but it takes a long time. This is why I don't prefer the Wear OS from Google. This app always takes a long time to connect your smartwatch. In other apps with other smartwatches, you only need a few seconds maybe or one minute at the best to connect your device. Here we have a few options like watch faces that you can change in a matter of second. As soon as you press, you will get your new watch face in the tick watch, which I prefer this way. I like this way. As I always say, this is the easiest uh, for the users. Now it's showing us how to change watch faces in the watch. It's showing us a few things here and there on how to use it. As I said before, again, as you can see very fast, and very easy way to change the watch faces. Down we have my tiles, which we can change from goals, forecast, or next event. We have notifications, which for me is very important. We have agenda settings, Google assistance, which we can customize a few things here and there. And we have advanced settings. Again, we can customize a few things. I, I like the always on display, even though the tech watch has dual screen, which always uh, has a screen on but the uh, always on display it's a little bit different it follows the watch the uh, watch face that you already have which makes it looks pretty good so basically this is what we have here in the tick watch we can share as you can see the data that we did for example you went to run you can share with uh, friends what you did and for how long and all these kind of stuff this is the next app that we will use. This is the Mobvoi uh, app. We used it before for other tech watch devices. We have here the settings. In the first page, you can see it says connected. So you don't have to connect in this watch. When you connect with Wear OS, uh, it connects automatically to this uh, app. We have the health center and all of this, the data, the history for the data, the which you can change with date. We have the communication settings. Again, all of these are customizable for your own preference. So go ahead and watch and customize the things that you want. This is the routine that you can uh, do. We have explore to read things to see the store of the tick watch. And the final page is the profile where we can find my followers settings. Again, a lot of uh, a few options to change. We have the FAQ. And here we have the Amazon, Alexa, Google account, 
we have the feedback in case you want to send the feedback for a specific watch about and we have logout at the bottom both of the apps that we use today are very simple not too much uh, with options but uh, i think these maybe are enough personally i prefer the zap app for the msvets which it has a lot a lot of options and a lot of things to customize which i prefer that way you can see the notification when it comes again you can see it in the watch also from the tick watch you can reply and now the that the phone is turned on you don't get a notification so you are not bothered in both of the devices but you can see here at the message it says messenger uh, from the app it tells you from uh, what app you have uh, your notification and as i said you can reply you can fix some replies in the app or you can use the replies that you have uh, fixed from the app itself or as you can see we have three options here these are the replies that are fixed we can press ok you can send a voicemail you can text you can send an emoji whatever is convenient for you this is a very good way to reply but don't text and drive so guys this was all for today's video i hope you find this video interesting and helpful if so hit the like button subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video with another device